Welcome everyone. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a credit slide, just like this one. This is a very popular way to wrap up a slideshow. Perfect for thanking anyone who may have helped you, crediting any contributing photographers, or for listing songs that appear in your shows. Plus, it really helps give shows a movie-like final touch. Let's quickly take a look at what a credit slide is. You'll notice that all we need for a credit slide is an image or two and a caption that starts at the bottom and scrolls all the way off the top of the screen. Let's start with the blank canvas and build a new credit slide. Go ahead and find an image that will serve as the backdrop for the credits. Just about any image will do, but keep in mind that the whole point is to have text appear on top of the image. Because the text will be the focal point of the slide, try to use an image that is attractive but doesn't feature anything that might draw attention away from the captions. And to make sure your audience will be able to see your credits, add more time to your slide. Next, double click to open the slide options. The fastest way to make a credit slide is to use the built-in slide styles. Up here, click the slide styles tab. In the Categories list on the left, select Captions and Titles. In the list of styles on the right, click on any style and begin typing the word Scroll. Or, if you prefer, you can also scroll down the list until you find the style Scrolling Credits. When you click on the style, you'll see a preview of the effect. ProShow has three built-in credit styles to choose from. This first one, called Scrolling Credits, features a large caption on the left and the scrolling credits over here on the right. Scrolling Outro Centered is a little different. This one looks more like what you might see at the end of a movie. The background is much darker and the text is centered on the screen. The third built-in effect is called Scrolling Outro Offset. It's basically a combination of the other two styles. Choose whatever works best for you and then press the Apply Style button at the bottom to create the effect. Once the style is applied, over here on the left, you'll see that I now have two captions. The caption on the bottom is the title. To change this, simply select it, then in the selected caption text box, delete the text and type something else. For the scrolling credits part of this slide, Go back to the captions list and select this first caption that reads enter text here. Once again, in the selected caption text area, type the people you wish to thank or the name of any songs you used in your show. By default, you'll notice that there are line breaks in the caption to help separate each credit. You can leave this as is or completely remove the suggested spacing and type in whatever you'd like. If you'd like to change the font, size, or color of your captions, you can adjust those options here in the Caption Format pane. Let's preview the slide to see how it looks. As you can see, the background is nice, but not distracting. And because the slide time is set for 15 seconds, we have a nicely paced scrolling effect that gives viewers time to read the credits. Next, let's look at something more customized. In this slide, we've added a couple of photos and then created the scroll manually by using the caption behavior. To create a scrolling effect, double click to open the slide options. Select the caption from the list and then click on the effects tab located above the preview. Beneath the preview on the right, you'll find the caption behaviors. These are the options that control how a caption fades in or fades out. This is also where you can set a caption to scroll. To create the scrolling effect, you'll choose one of the options from the Normal Behavior drop-down list. For a credit scroll, all you need to do is select Full Pan Up and ProShow creates the motion effect for you. As you can see, this is a very simple effect to make and it really gives your shows that little something extra that makes them stand out. And that's it for today's lesson. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.